If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Ooh, a little bit of the bubbly. What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic Mod Am Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new action figure review, and not just any action figure review, the very first AEW wrestling action figure review here on the channel on the brand new AEW Unrivaled Ringside Exclusive. Ooh, a little bit of the bubbly. Chris Jericho action figure, and I am super excited, man. I mean, how long have we been waiting on these AEW figures? I know I'm late to the party. Everybody always is first, right? I mean, I, I don't get them first, but I do appreciate you guys stopping by for the unrivaled action figures from AEW Review from yours truly here today. I'm excited to crack this man open. I've been waiting on this little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho figure for forever, man. It, it just seems like we have been waiting on our AEW figures. I remember when they first, you know, got to TNT and we were like, man, they're going to make action figures. And then they announced the figures. And then they were like, more little bit of info, little bit of info. Then we got to see the figures. And now here it is in our grasp. And I'm excited to break down the review for you guys. So you guys can see here it is a ringside exclusive, right? So it's got to have the beautiful packaging. You have the beautiful little bit of the bubbly packaging right here, and it, it looks fantastic. I think they did a really good job. Everybody over there at Jazzwares, whoever worked on this figure, they did a great job. You got your little bit of the bubbly here, AEW up here with the gold wrap. You have this black and gold spatter going on on the front of the bottle. You do get this beautiful image of Jericho with the little bit of the bubbly. Holding a microphone, you got a little bit of the bubbly there with some gold wrap again. On either side of the box, you do get beautiful embossed AEW. AEW logos here and on the opposite side there. On the bottom, there's not much going on, just some logos and ish. On the back, you got a beautiful image of La Champion and him holding the AEW Championship, the coveted prize. You got the beautiful ringside exclusive emboss logo right here on the back, along with an AEW logo and the rest of this wish wash going on right there. At the top, it does have a signature and it does say Chris Jericho, La Champion, and then some black and gold speckling again. But we are not here for the little bit of the bubbly packaging, are we? We are here to crack this hoe open and find out exactly what these AEW wrestling action figures are all about. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack this little bit of the bubbly out of its packaging. Oh, 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 oh. All right, guys, well, here is La Champion out of the packaging looking uh, looking pretty damn good, man. I mean, it is looking pretty damn good. I'm, I'm going to tell you that I have posed this guy around. We will wait to the articulation standpoint of the video. Don't worry. We're going to break it down, man. We're going to take a closer look at every single detail of this figure, every detail of the accessories. My WWE Elite figure reviews are usually really in-depth, and for this one specifically, we are going to dive deep into it. I'm going to show you every aspect of this figure so you know exactly what you're getting from an AEW unrivaled figure. I'm going to compare the tables i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it all so with that being said guys you guys know how my reviews work we're gonna run through chris jericho's accessories first and then we're gonna run it back through and take a closer look at chris jericho himself but one thing i do want to mention right now real quick is out of the packaging now i'm not sure if every figure like this from aew from jazzwares from unrivaled is gonna come with this but you guys can see these little plastic sheets that go i, I did pose around the figure i kept on these plastic sheets for this reason so i can explain it out of the packaging they do come with this and this usually comes on uh, import figures. If you guys have ever gotten any SH figure arts, any Dragon Ball Z SH figure arts, any import style figures, Figma and stuff like that, you guys know what these are. It's like little clear pieces of plastic that like prevent joint rub. They come on the figures in the packaging. So AEW is doing this. I'm not sure if this is just a ringside exclusive Chris Jericho deal or if that's going to come in on every single one of them. I guess we'll have to find out together. But that does come on the figure and I did want to mention that. So with that being said guys, let's take a closer look at Chris Jericho's accessories and then we're going to run it back and take a closer look at La Champion himself. Alright guys, so diving into Le Champion's accessories, let's start off first with his t-shirt, because you know he came with this in the packaging, and you guys can see here the, the material is super nice. It's got like a certain stretch to it. It's got a really good wide base to it. It fit the figure perfectly, in my opinion. I think the cuffs are perfect size. I like the graphic. It's very clean. You know, it's not shiny or anything. It actually looks like an actual t-shirt in action figure form, so I like the way that looks. On the back, of course, you do have your nice Velcro right here, just like a Mattel WWE Elite would have, just like 
like that right there. You guys saw how it looked on the figure. I thought it fit pretty good. And I do want to get a little uh, comparison shot between this and a WWE Elite so we can, you know, kind of take a look at what the difference is between the two. You guys can see here, Mattel is probably a little bit longer and AEW is probably a little bit wider. The difference in material, it seems like the, uh, the Mattel one is a little bit shiny. Even the material on the shirt is shiny. And then the AEW is more of a matte finish. But there is the t-shirt that comes with Chris Jericho. And then if we get into the bulk of it, I mean, what makes this figure this figure is, is, the, is the moment, right? Just won the AEW World Championship, walking through the backstage area, cutting an amazing promo as Chris Jericho does. Walks up on the catering area right here. It's supposed to be like the little celebration. And so here you go. I mean, I guess we can dive in first into these cups. So you do get a pair of yellow solo cups, right? These are not red solo cups, but they are yellow solo cups. Now, I don't think this figure actually comes with hands that can actually hold these yellow solo cups, but you can sit these on the table. So you get a pair of those. Great detail on those in the sculpt. Right here, you of course have to have your two bottles of bubbly. And I mean, the, the, I mean, this is pretty much the iconic moment, right? He's got the open bottle and then you have the closed bottle. If you guys want to take a closer look at this, it's a silver bucket. It does have, oh my God, I bubbled it. Never fumbled in my football career. Here I am, fumbling in, in this video. But right here, you do have some ice down in there, some good light blue. You got two little pockets there where you can just shove the bottles down in there like you guys saw, and they will be a little bit off balance because, you know, bottles don't sit straight up in the ice. They, you know, they turn to one side, but there's your little ice cubes in there. Next up, you have your bottles of bubbly. You do have this one right here, which is the closed bottle, and it's got the wrap on there and everything. On the label, it does say Le Bubbly, and it does say Brute right there. I don't know what that is, but these are little stickers that go on the bottles. They actually can peel off, so be careful with that. Don't rip those off if you don't want them off. And a little flat green color. And then you have the other bottle, which is an open bottle of bubbly, which does have the same label, except it is opened, as you guys can see there. Not only do you get your two bottles of bubbly, guys, but you do get your food tray. And in your food tray, you got your crackers, your cheeses, your salamis, your pepperonis. I, guess, I, I don't know. These don't really come out, but the olives, the little uh, bowl of olives, which he also did mention in that promo. Bunch of crap. Look, Olives! Look at this! Look! This olives with nothing in there. You got a little bowl of olives, and uh, this does come out of here. So I guess if you were to throw somebody into the catering area or whatever you're doing with this, I'm excited because this will make my backstage and MDT look a lot better. So that's epic for me. But it's just so cool that they would include this, man. Action figure photography, pick fetting, backstage areas, setup, stuff like that. There's some great detail in here. Great matte plastic going on. Great sculpt detail here. Whoever did this did a fantastic job, but the olives do come out like we did state. And it's a nice black little tray. So that goes back on the table. We also get our AEW microphone which looks really good. It does have AEW logos on all four corners. You do have the uh, little bottom tick right there and you do have the microphone portion. If you guys want to put this into Jericho's hand, you would just take it and slide it in just like so. So there you go. If you want to put that in the hand of the of the, of the champion, you can do that really easily. And you guys know that AEW does have the skinnier microphones so you guys can see here. Here's Ringside Collectibles version of a microphone here with the Vindication mic compared to an AEW microphone that comes with the Unrivaled figures. And then we also have the coveted AEW World Championship. And I think this looks fantastic. I think it looks beautiful in figure form. Really shiny. It pops off. It literally fits right into your belt collection. It's made of a soft rubber right here that can stretch a little bit. It's got great plates on it. It's very shiny, as you guys can tell. It says AEW World Champion. I think the details and everything is great. You got a little silver going on in the middle. Not as much silver going on on the side plates, but it still looks pretty good. I think you could even even take it a step further if you wanted to and paint what parts are supposed to be silver. But I feel like when you're just looking at the championship, you really can't tell the difference. The logos are painted in silver and this little diamond plate right here in the middle is painted silver. We will see what this looks like on the champion later on. But there's the AEW championship and I did want to compare this not only to my custom AEW World Championship, but I also want to compare it to a WWE Championship. So here it is up next to my custom one. Very happy to replace this ugly thing with my own, uh, you know, unrivaled version. But if you guys want to compare it to the WWE Championship, here is a side-by-side uh, -side of the two, and I think it scales well. I think it scales in perfectly with the WWE Championship, and there are the two side-by-side -side if you guys were wondering what that would look like. Again, fits right into the collection. You, you wouldn't even miss it. But not only do you get the AEW World Championship, not only do you get the little bit of the bubbly, the two yellow solo cups, the food tray, the mic, and the champion with his t-shirt, you also get a break breakaway table. Now this is very interesting because usually you only get like one of these things but it does come apart like so. It doesn't have like a jagged look to it or anything like that. If you guys were wondering what a figure looks like going through it, I guess we can put John Moxley through it real quick if you guys would like. So here's what it looks like going through. 
I honestly feel like I could have hit it with more force here, so we're going to run it back. So that is what uh, John Moxley looks like going through the table. So there's a nice shot of the table. And then if you wanted to compare this to the Mattel version, here is a Mattel black table. So the AEW one is slightly a little bit longer and a little bit wider, it seems. I'm not sure if this is going to be the standard table going forward or if this is just for the ringside exclusive Chris Jericho from AEW. But if I had to guess, this would probably be the standard version. Whatever play sets, whatever figures a table comes with, I'm guessing this will be the standard version that comes with it, whether it gets, you know, some wood grain detail or what have you but that is the black version from Mattel and here is a shot of the black ringside collectibles exclusive version of a black table but I do believe that is all of the champions accessories guys we got the table the championship the mics the food the everything like that so with that being said guys let's go ahead and dive into Chris Jericho himself all right, guys, so diving into Chris Jericho himself, let's get a look at this Chris Jericho head sculpt here. And I'm liking it, man. You know, honestly, I like it a lot. I'm not gonna, I do have a little speckle of blonde hair right there on the temple right there. Not not the biggest deal to me. Not really gonna care that much about it. I can get that off no problem. So, you know, it's not an eyeball. It's not a lip problem or anything like that. So I think I can get that off. But I think the smile is there. I think that the lightness to Chris Jericho is there. I think the wrinkles are nice. Everything going on with this head sculpt is nice. I like the facial hair. I like the eye color. The nut. I really think they did get the capture of the likeness of Chris Jericho really, really nicely. Going around here, guys, you will notice that he does have the long hair similar to the Defining Moments Chris Jericho. Now, this is a rubber right here, okay? This is kind of like your long hair molds that you get from Mattel. That is what this is. And then you have the top piece that is hard. So this is hard sculpted. And even look at that likeness from the side. I think that definitely captures Chris Jericho. But I think the reason they made this this rubber material is so when you articulate it, it's not a hard plastic. It doesn't hinder anything. It will move easily. Easily, and you can easily get that going right there. So that is pretty nice. I like that a lot. Going down into the torso, now a lot of people were talking about the skin tones and this and that. I think underneath this lighting, guys, I think it looks good. You know, will the skin tone improve? I think it will. But um, we're going to compare it to some Mattel skin tones. But I think it looks great. Like when you get it in person, uh, you know, I, I, again, I think it will improve over time. But I still think it looks good. Under this lighting, I think it looks good. I think it looks like Jericho. I think they did a good job on it. Now this torso, we are going to cover our articulation and another point so i'm not gonna do all the articulation we're just getting all the specs right now but you do get the uh, chris jericho torso right here probably a little bit more ripped up than he actually is but you know it is an action figure it's not you know a real life sculpt you know pound for pound every little tendon and cell is going to be perfectly sculpted but uh, i think it still looks good I'm, I'm proud of that i think it looks great on his arms here you do get the double jointed arms which looks good you got the black wrist tape going on here is where the money's made now i do not know exactly how they got all of the tattoo details detail in there, but they have all the tattoo detail in there, man. All of the tattoos are here. You got his uh, outside arms tattoo here with the skull. You got the Rolling Stone logo. You got the pumpkin. I think you even have like the Iron Maiden logo. I don't think this is exactly accurate, but even putting something that's similar is really cool. You have the hockey mask or the Jason hockey mask, whatever you want to call that, with the Canadian flag. You got the cannon. You got all the colors going on. All of the tattoos and album covers and different bands here all represented and I think it looks great you even have the Fozzie tattoo on the hand but I don't know how they got all that you know all the trademarks and copyrights and I'm not sure how that works and how they got that or if that's all just made up but it looks just like his tattoos and they look great on the figure they pop off nicely even his arrow tattoos on this arm right here I think those look good he does have two mic holding hands out of the packaging no interchangeable hands with this figure but I think the rest of the AEW figures do come with interchangeable hands when I first saw this figure I did not know it but the belt is actually so sculpted on. You got the nice colors there. All this has some nice sculpted wrinkles on there. You got all the paint apps. Really happy that this belt is sculpted on. It's not just painted on. I think that's really big. You have all of his details of his tights going down. Some good sculpt underneath. Most of this is just painted on, but you do have some wrinkles sculpted throughout. You do have these nice square knee pads, which looks good. They are closed in the back right there. If you guys were wondering, you got some chainage and stuff like that that is painted on. Down here into the lower legs, you got some more zippers, some boots right here. Kind of reminding me of the Elite 76 O his boots a little bit like the shape of them you got the tongue flap that does not go all the way up you got the big tongue flap there nice uh, little ankles going on with the nice black boots and that is pretty much your Chris Jericho figure man I mean it's it's pretty damn nice I enjoy it a lot you got it from head to toe from the back here's a front view and a back view but that pretty much does it for Chris Jericho himself guys so now that we have covered that let's do a closer look at some Chris Jericho unrivaled and elite figure comparisons
So for your AEW and WWE Elite figure comparisons, guys, here is the unrivaled Chris Jericho in the middle compared to a couple Elite Chris Jerichos. You have the list, GameStop exclusive, and the defining moments. And you will see here that the uh, height, he's probably just a hair tire, a taller, maybe not, you know, straight on. They look dead even in height. It's obviously just the width. I think this represents Chris Jericho a lot better compared to this torso right here. But the heights are completely accurate. You guys can see a little bit of the arm difference right there. And then, of course, you do have your defining moments moments right there, which is very similar in hairstyle to this Chris Jericho. And then here is Chris Jericho up next to John Moxley, an AEW rival, if you will. So there is uh, Dean Ambrose slash John Moxley up next to an AEW figure there. Then we have Chris Jericho up next to his best friend, rekindling the friendship right there with Kevin Owens. Here's a little side-by-side -side comparison of these guys. And then here he is up next to his inner circle mate, Jack Swagger or Jake Hager. You guys can see the height difference right there. And then for a few more, you do have Cody Rhodes up next to Chris Jericho. And then here we have the MDT Tag Team Champions, Young Bucks up next to the new unrivaled Jericho. Now I think a big thing about it is that this torso is wider you know, for Chris Jericho, so it may look like he is a little bit bigger there, but I still think they scale pretty damn good. Alright guys, it is time for that portion of the video where we go over the articulation of the Chris Jericho. Now for this head sculpt specifically, um, it cannot do it that much, but I think it's because of the hair mold. Um, he will be able to, uh, so like any figure, I think Cody specifically, you know, guys with really short hair, they're going to be able to look all the way up and all the way down. He can look down a little bit here as you guys can see, and I think he will be able to pivot because it is a ball joint right here, and you guys will notice no heat required. You can literally pop the head straight off, and he's on a ball joint right right here that goes all the way down and all the way back. So again, guys that have short haircuts should be able to easily look all the way up and all the way down. And to pop this back on, you will legitimately just pop it right back on just like you just popped it back off. Now for the shoulders, you can rotate these all the way around, no issues right there. In the shoulders, it seems they have done ratchet joints, which is really awesome because they will not, you know, you can hear that click noise. That click noise right there gives it where you don't have to worry about them coming out of the packaging and being stiff. Kind of like my Fiend figure where it was stiff right here and we couldn't move it all the way up because of that glue in there. You should never have any issues like that. It goes above 90 degrees right here on both sides, which is kind of ridiculous. You do get those ratchet joints in there, which is really cool. You can see the shoulder joint right there, but that really doesn't bother me that much. On the arms, you get a full 360 bicep rotation, which is excellent. Double jointed elbows right here where you guys can see that he can you know pretty much drink his cup he can put the mic right up to his mouth he can punch himself in the face he can do the pete dunn deal if he wants to so right there he does come with double jointed arms which we all love and they're super tight too man they are super tight they feel really good you don't have to worry about him getting loose or anything on his hands he can rotate them 360 and he gets a nice little hinge right there and these hands also pop out so he doesn't come with interchangeable hands but they do pop in and out for interchangeability and they go in really quick they're not loose or anything they feel super tight all right guys for the torso the big time torso time here's what the ab crunch looks like all the way forward and all the way back now this is where it gets kind of crazy okay so you have a ball joint here and then you have a ball joint in the waist swivel okay and the bottom portion right here the bottom part of the torso is a different plastic or substance than the top part so this is more of a hard plastic this down here is more like a silicone or a, a soft rubber material and you guys can kind of hear it right there that noise that it's making if you twist it here you can just kind of see I don't know if you guys can see this I want to make sure that you can get this in here because I want you guys to see here that you can actually mash this in because it is soft so when you push it forward you don't have to worry about the hard plastic, you know, connecting and hindering articulation. It can bend in more than it's supposed to because of that. And it can actually bend over better because of that as well. So it can bend back. It can bend all these ways. It also has a little diaphragm here, so you get some diaphragm pivoting. You can also spin around this top part all the way around if you want to. And, you know, you can spin all this around. So he does have waist swivel. And you can pop this off. So you can pop off these torsos. These torsos, I'm pretty sure, are going to be completely interchangeable. You can you can separate this torso from this bottom torso, and you can separate the crotch and legs from this this torso right here, and then you can just pop that back on, and it's still tight. So torso swaps will no longer be an issue. You will no longer have to torso crack these these uh, AEW action figures. There will be no torso cracking and switching torsos with these. It will be as simple as popping it off and putting on a new torso. Now, as far as getting shoulders, that is a whole different story. But as far as the uh, you know the lower torso here, the top part, or you know maybe there'll be a, a fatter Chris Jericho mold that you want to switch this with. 
with or you know somebody's more ripped up than than the other and the skin tone doesn't match or you know, whatever there's plenty of customizing abilities i plan on doing a video where we're going to test you know uh different parts of the plastic with acetone we're going to do a bunch of stuff like that but getting back into the articulation there guys tons of articulation there on this guy i don't know if all figures will come like this but for this guy he is on ball joints complete ball joints he can kick forward that much not back a lot because of the butt cheek flap you do get upper thigh cut double jointed knees which feel really good you also get he can do the splitsies you get a boot rotation right here you also get beautiful ankle pivot so he can do ankle pivot on both sides and i think that is pretty much your articulation man these aew figures are freaking fantastic with our art with articulation man and the customizing you know options that we have are kind of ridiculous man dude the, the this thing feels really really nice in the hand to articulate i think we are on a great path with these AEW Unrivaled figures. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for our review on the ringside exclusive little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho AEW Unrivaled figure. If you guys would like to pick this figure up from what you like, what you see in this video, if you like what you see in this video, if you want to go grab this, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. You want my overall thoughts on this figure? I think it is absolutely fantastic. I, I love it from head to toe. I, I guess if I had to pick something that I just do not like about the figure, Let's run through the things I do like first. Let's run through everything that I like about it, and then we'll run through some nitpicks. If I had to nitpick something about the figure and give you my own... If I had to give you my own problems, we'll get into that. But I think that the head sculpt is great. I like the torso. I love that you can separate it right there with the ball joint. I like the articulation of the torso. I think it's genius to make the lower part of it that softer material so that you're able to articulate it. The ratchet joints in the shoulders, the double-jointed arms. I like the accessories we got with this thing. I think that AEW Unrivaled figures and Jazz wears and everyone involved in this process is it should be super proud of what they've been able to come up with with this little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho. I cannot wait for the first series, the second series, the whole rest of the series. I think that every single figure that they put out is going to be good and based off the proto images we've seen and, and based on other things that we've seen from them so far, I am hyped man. I think that this line is in great hands. The whole design team should be proud. The whole developers of this line should be proud. AEW should be proud and I am happy to own this line man. I cannot wait for what is to come with this line i think they can only go up from here and it is just it's just fantastic it's a must cop you got to get these figures if you've been a fan of the wwe elite figures these are no slouch man i think these are damn good they have my utmost approval and i cannot wait for more figures man i am giddy i think that i'm just excited man this figure makes me super excited for the future of these figures now if i'm gonna nitpick about something you know if i have something to nitpick about i would say that i'm not a fan of necessarily seeing this little ratchet joint here you know i mean if i if I could pick for it not to be there and it still have that same articulation, then I would probably choose that. And another thing is probably just, you know, some of these zippers and like the chains and, you know, all this stuff that's painted on the pants. Maybe a little bit more detail or sculpt, you know, so maybe some different things sculpted on here. Like these zippers and these strings and these tears and stuff. Instead of just painted on there, maybe just have them sculpted on there. You know, just for a little bit more detail and depth in the pants. But I am not griping. I'm not griping about anything. I literally was just trying to pick something to nitpick about. But overall, guys, I love it. I freaking love it. And I absolutely 100% say go buy these figures when they hit retail. Go pre-order them. They, they, this is a fantastic figure. And it has me super excited for the rest of the AEW figures to come. But that is going to do it for the review, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope I answered all your questions. If you guys thought that this couldn't get closer, he can literally eat the microphone if he wants. He can eat the microphone. He can literally, like, if we go, like, look at this. Look at that right there. He can literally dump his arm over his shoulder. He can do everything he needs to do, man. I promise you. This, this is a beast. I hope I covered all your questions, man. If there's something I left out of the video, let me know down in the comment section below. I tried to, you know, get all the comparisons, all the articulation, everything. I know we've been here for a while, but I hope you guys stay for the whole thing so we can see all the different things compared to Mattel. See what you're fully getting with these AEW Unrivaled figures, but that is going to do it for the AEW Unrivaled Chris Jericho ringside exclusive little bit of the bubbly review. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. If you guys want to pick this thing up, go do so at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MD toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you